because we have to deconstruct a little bit in here because I want the seatbelt thing that's going to be right here uh -huh. to be anchored so that it actually holds me in the event of an accident. So I can't just put it into wood. It has to be in the metal. So we're going to have to go through this um, rib right here to the outside, but then we'll bring it out through the wood on the inside with a nice big bolt to hold it so but that makes it more involved because I hate deconstructing but I think it's the right thing to do the seat here like I'm confident that this is strong because we bolted it where the original seat bolts are so that means that the the original seat belt was attached to the original seat that was bolted to the floor so that means that they had confidence that the seat belt or the Floor bolts. Floor bolts are going to hold. Right. We use class eight bolts on this with big washers. I don't think we're going to have any problem with the bolts breaking. That said, all we have to do then is mount the seat belts to this, the frame of this. But this will be the hard part right here is putting that in. I think you might be um, aiming up a little high. Can it go down a little bit lower than that? Up there is really high. I'd put it right here. Yeah, because what if I ever have to drive? Well, because Who's I want it to come down face? over my shoulder, not over my arm. Well, yeah. So, and it's kind of, like, it's not like in a car where it's like right here. Mm-hmm. So, I think it'll be all right. We'll find out. We'll find out on the next episode of <laughs> Bussy McBusface. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Bam, ba down, 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 down. down. Three giant nails, I guess. That one was much easier. So we have to drill through the edge of this out to the outside. What a pain in the butt. This is the thing we're mounting right here. This is the size of the bolt that it takes right there. It takes a big old bolt. I guess the freight bus drivers get real fat and he needs a half inch bolt to hold his ass in. My baby's going for the bus driver belly. That's right. <laughs> Who's the fat boy? <laughs> Same with the vagabond reference. Ooh. There's one layer. One layer. Shocking. Um, battery. Battery off the charger. Oh, it splintered our wood so bad. That gets covered. Oh, good. Push it back down. Oh, good. It gets totally covered. Yeah. back together all right and so now I need to go outside and continue that hole through this wood gently very gently yes I'll do it nice and slow with a fast drill speed there it is how did it do um pretty good it, it, chipped, it chipped a little bit but not bad we might have to restain well, a little it'll cover the whole thing so oh it will this is what's going to cover it. That. Yes, so, you'll never see it. So we got to run a bolt through here. And 
it want, we want it on this, but I really don't want the stud sticking out on this and if I can help it, but I guess we could cut it off. And when we put this back over it, once we get this all screwed down. Yeah. All right. So I guess it's time to go to town. Here we go again. Five and a quarter would be perfect. We're going to get five and a half. And, and we got to get the bolts for down here too, I guess. So, two inch and a five and a half inch. Remember that, two inch and five and a half inch. No, three inch, we're gonna get five and a halfs and threes. You seriously upgraded to three inch from two inch? Yeah, because it has to stick out past it and have room for threads and everything, so. And then it has to pass through this thick thing here. Notice the color of this? This is a class eight. Grade eight. Grade eight, right. Grape eight. Great Look at this big bolt. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Oh, whoops. That's why we went a half inch longer. So I can cut it off, but I can't make it longer. How this works is this, that hooks down at the bottom. This goes across the lap and hooks to this down in the bottom over there like this so then this does this number oh so now we gotta get this how much how long is this thing very long very long but is it long enough boy i don't know man bolts for this that is a big old beefy drill bag <laughs> it really is a monster Holy camoly, looks like a unicorn horn. It's the last unicorn. <laughs> That's some thick metal. It really is. Mm -hmm. Under up. Wow. <laughs> We're not even poking through the other side yet. My goodness. Oh, oh. There right. it went. Whew. Oh, good. I was like, I wonder if that's going to fit through that hole, though. Oh, you have to do the same thing on that side? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's see what's going on down here. There's this double thick metal right here. Oh. That's why it was so hard to go through. Okay, so, time. and you're drilling it first with a smaller drill bit, and then you I have to... Because I can't get the big one all the way in there. Okay, and then you have to re-drill it after this one. Yeah. Okay. Just widen it. To widen one. it with a bigger bit. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's going. <laughs> it's just real slow. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Yeah. Wish you'd spent a lot more money on drill bits. <laughs> oh, we are through. Okay. Yay! I'm gonna take a little nap. Right? Rest up a bit. Give me the other big drill bit right by there. Is that one? Yeah. 
got it. I'm gonna need your help. Okay. I'm gonna need you to put the nut on this, on this side. Those two. I'm gonna need your help to find that hole. Okay, you're really close. Down a little to um, the front of the bus a little. Okay, down a tiny smidge more. You're there. You got it. Okay, lock one. Uh-oh. That silver nut barely cleared that little gold bolt in the bottom. There's barely enough room for, to tighten it. Well, we'll have to do it from the other side. And this is going to turn like one eighth of a turn every single time. Oh my gosh. It looks like you're in a bit of a tight spot. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very tight. Oh, there we go. Okay. One more to tighten up there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know how that little cover went on. Just snapped in place. Yep. Okay. that off we got a cover for it but look at that Jesus come on is that it oh my god well it's on if I get any more weight we can't use the seatbelt it's barely reaching that's it yeah I think I think you mounted it up really, really high. It could have been down about five inches. It would still go over your shoulder. Well, it's a bit late. Yep, but, sure is. I mean, that'll do. I'm in. I'm seat belted, so if something were to happen, I would stop. Yeah, you would be safe. Ugh. That'll do, as long as I can reach everything I need to reach. That'll do. All right. I just can't get any fatter. <laughs> like maybe an inch. That's it. So if, we, if I get any fatter, we have to sell the bus and get a new one. Oh my goodness. However. That works. Seatbelt's in. Let me just put the little... Oh, we got to nip that one end off there. All right. Seatbelts, check. Seat belt. When you still have one more seat belt to do. Right? Yeah, we're still going to do a seat we're gonna belt. Do one more seat belt over here. And a dinette seat. So Carrie can rest in comfort. I think it'll wake. I think so. Okay, cool. That'll be a lot easier than that one, I think. Probably. Cool, man. Well, that wasn't that bad. I'm stoked we got that done. Yeah. What's next? Next. Okay, we went all the way to town to Ace Hardware to buy one, is that called a socket? Big socket. A big gigantor socket just for this big gigantor bolt. Set. Easy. <laughs> that wasn't hard at all. No. I've never seen somebody take off a steering wheel before though. This will be a first for me. Well, usually they're kind of pressed on. It's usually a, um, what's the word, tapered steering column. And this is no different. I don't have a steering wheel puller. I just have to bang on it with a rubber mallet until it comes off. <laughs> that was a good karate maneuver. Right, let's see what we got for this boy. It's gonna get hot in here if that powers the wants. Yeah, you guys, our electricity is off right now, so uh, the AC is off, and it's getting pretty warm up in this joint. We don't have to suffer. The sun's directly overhead, so let's do this. Turn off the computer if you would. So yeah, check out our thermometer. It's a hundred degrees outside right now. Can you see that? And with the AC off, it got up to 93 in here in the bus. So now 
we are running our AC on solar power alone. So we'll see how that changes the inside temperature in here. This is a, like a gear puller or a steering wheel puller. You put a screw in to these here that goes through this here, right? And then you start cranking on this, pushing down on this, and it, and it lifts it off. Lifts it out. See, and that thing is giant brass knuckles for a chicken foot. Tiny is. I huh? can tell by looking. We just went on a giant search through the whole garage and everything looking for the right size bolts. And guess who found two of the right size super bolts? Super Finder. Super Finder. If you guessed Super Finder, you would be right. Like that. And now. Okay, so this is a steering wheel taker offer. It is. That's exactly what this is. <laughs> Straight up, it's designed to pull a steering wheel. I can't believe we found two of the right bolts. Perfect. Oh, that was quick and easy. Yeah, it's like... I thought it was going to be this extended process of me just filming you doing all this stuff. Right. Okay, wait, do that again. So our left turn signal works. Right turn signal, nothing. So how do you troubleshoot that? We take it off. There's some contact somewhere that has gone the way of the dodo. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you can remember where all these screws go to put it back together. Of course I can. It's me, remember? <laughs> Mike Giver making shit up as he goes along since 1972. Because he was born in 71, so, right. you know. Because I'm able to turn it on. Like these wires right here, if I take this apart inside here, I can... Uh, I'm able to turn on the blinker on that side by the actual wires down here oh. so that says that that the switch failed I was hoping it was something else like a fuse it wasn't the fuse Mike is like I need I need I need a paper clip and like two seconds later I handed him one <laughs> it was so amazing see Oh, you can get it to work down there. So, the problem might just be that one thing right there. Maybe not the switch. Let's find out. These are curvers. Wow, you just pulled a super finder just now. The thing is, is if I leave it somewhere, I can find it. When you clean up, I can't find it. <laughs> so you're thinking it's the switch inside of that plastic piece? Yeah, unfortunately. The problem is I'm having trouble understanding how it works. Oh. Okay, so if I cross these two right here, it should go on. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Can't believe you can do that. This wires can. So you think it's the switch inside that plastic white thing? Possibly. That's Let me see if this one makes it get that out though. So those are drawing a pretty mighty amount of current, which could be my fault because I'm running those new lights up on top. Oh, that could cause that to mm -hmm. happen. We're cannibalizing some switches from somewhere else that I recommended, and Mike is going with that idea. So, what we're going to do, because we don't have the right things for this, it would seem logical to put them both over here. Are you going to have to turn them on manually when you're turning? Yeah, Aww. left and right. Bummer. Until I can figure this out later. You don't think that's a replaceable part? Is that I think it is. I just don't know how to. Oh. So it might be an entire wiring harness thing. So for now, I can do this and it will overcome our problem. Okay. Let's 
Thank you. You're welcome. He's doing his Mike Guyver thing again. Making it making whatever's broken work again in whatever way he can. Yes. switches are those. big enough the wires are now all big enough to handle handle this so. to handle the huge lights you put up there yeah and while i was looking for something else today i found a brand new drill bit and now mike needs it this very possibly. day possibly might be too big yeah too small oh really yeah hmm. i thought it was a big old mongo chongo bigger. Okay. Okay. We have two switches. Let's see if they work. Turn left. Turn right. We can drive now. Yeah. Well, once we get the steering wheel back on anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's an issue. Huh? <laughs> because now we can do emergency lights. See that? We got flashing lights. All right, so they're all flashing. Here. Everything. Oh, you can't see it in Look the sunlight, up can you? There you can. There it is. Okay. We had to get the wheels exactly straight and then yeah. get the steering wheel on straight so it would all be right while we're driving down the road. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Thomas? Yeah, we noticed that before that we have a Thomas steering wheel in a Bluebird bus. Yeah. Maybe that's indication of that turn signal not working before. Maybe. There. Excellent. Another one off the list. Yeah. Crazy though. Except I don't think we had that on our list. We're going to write it on the list just so we can check it off now. That's right, we are. Better too. believe we are. So now we got this turn signal, so if I have to turn left, I have to... Are those the pull-out kind of switches? Yeah. They were the ones that were over here. Yeah, I remember. That for the... Yeah, so there you go. All right, a new way of uh, doing turn signals. Does our steering column go all the way up to where the steering wheel is flat or no? 
so we could do the little round table like some other people have done. Yeah, we could. Mm -hmm. I think those are cute. Seems like the perfect spot to just come have your cup of coffee in the morning. Yeah, you could, huh? But we did good. I'm pretty stoked about that. It was a good, uh, a good fix. Yeah. Let's clean up our mess. We're drivable now. Registered, insured, and turn signals. And legal, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so. We also got these really cool little lights for our license plate. If I can get it. And Mike's just trying to get them. Oh, I'm struggling right now. Up. Oh, really? They're too short. Oh, shoot. There's nothing you can do now. It's already been cut, huh? Well, that's not necessarily the case. Nothing is a strong word. <laughs> there. At least Mike waited until it was only 102 degrees to come outside and work on this project. Yeah. When you're doing this, the blade has a top and a bottom here. And all these connectors have a top and a bottom. You want to put the bump of this on the bottom. It just makes it stronger. Pro tip from Mike. Well, just a little pro tip there. <laughs> okay. Well, only one way to find out if this works or not. Okay, I want to see these little lights. See, aren't they so cute? Right. Turn them on right now. Okay, I'll stand and make a shadow. Go ahead! Oh, you can see it a little bit. They are? Yep, they sure are! Okay, we'll have to come back out and check this out again at night time. It was perfect. Gotta check them out. Nice. So our bus has two sets of running lights. We got the upper running lights or clearance lights, which actually have a separate switch to turn them on, and always have. And then the lower running lights run off of the headlights when you pop those on, so. Oh, cool. Interesting. So that worked out really well. Yeah. So tonight we'll be able to test it because actually I have an extra license plate back here. Okay, you guys, hopefully it's dim enough to see how our new license plate lights are going to work. Get ready for it. Any minute now? There. Oh, it's hard to see because it's wrinkly paper, but I think it's going to do the trick. Good. What do you think? I love it. Okay, you guys, here's where we're going to have to let you go. I know this is kind of just a, a video of odd jobs, but these are the things that we're actually doing to get everything finished in this bus so that we can move in and get the heck out of Dodge. Well, if you like our license plate, then you have to like and subscribe to the videos, okay? Awkward. <laughs> Take care, you guys. We'll see you next time.